live in a fast-paced world pushed by technology. But one cross-country traveler is more horsepower driven. MTN's Elizabeth Transu caught up with him as he turned heads in the electric city today. They say home is where the heart is. Because we don't go around cities. I mean, I go right through the hearts of cities. But for Lee, home is wherever he and his horses end up. I get told all the time, you're so brave to do this. And it's like, what are you talking about? All I'm doing is hitching horses up and going down the road. He's been on the road for 13 years. There's a whole lot of life to be lived out there. You know, every day you should be doing something. But it's not his story he wants to tell. Okay, darling, you need to get over. Come on. I, I ha do something every day of value. And that's what's missing in our society. It's a message. The world isn't here for your entertainment. The world is here for you to learn. All he has is what he pulls. No less, no more. So much of our world I'm, I'm alien to. He spends every day starting and ending the same way. After 13 years, you don't measure things in your favorite the mostest. Where you're at is the best place. Okay, now I'd appreciate you not rub this oof, dusty thing off. It's gonna be tight getting out of here today. So we could bore you with the facts and figures. I've done somewhere around 18,000. This is my fourth crossing. But who's counting? And I still have more miles to do. In Great Falls. Yeehaw! Elizabeth Transu, MTN News. And Lee's oldest horse, Faye, has traveled over 13,000 miles. Once she hits the Pacific Ocean one more time, it will mark her third trip across the country. Lee, the horse logger, is heading to Missoula for the winter.